Welcome to Handlet, your food. Mmm, no. What are we making today? Welcome to Handlet, your futuristic, boom-bastic, telefantastic cooking show. I'm your host, Dan, aka the Stanley Kubrick of being mad sick, and today I have something very special for you. We're gonna take bread and toss it the f*** out of here and substitute it for something a little more on the form-fitting side. You know what I mean? If you guys have seen Amir lately, he's looking pretty f***ing hype. You wanna look hype too? This is how you do it. See this? You see this? Not often you don't. We're using cauliflower as the substitute for our crust for this pizza. Take a knife and cut off the florets, the cauliflower florets. You wanna keep the stems for tea maybe after? <laughs> I don't know if it works the same way for cauliflower as it does for drugs. So obviously we don't stop here. Once you've got your florets all cut up, we're gonna use a, uh, mm -hmm. we're gonna use a food processor. Now if you don't have a food processor, that's okay. You could use a cheese grater. That'll do the same thing. It'll just take longer and you better have really strong forearms because if not, then buy a food processor. You see that? It's a nice, coarse texture. So there are plenty of recipes out there for cauliflower pizza, keto pizza, whatever you want to call it. However, we have tested this and Amir has come up with the best way to make sure that your cauliflower is dry and ready to go. The whole point of this step is to absorb all the moisture out of this um, cauliflower. You'll want to cook this down until it's browned a little bit. And uh, when you stop hearing the sizzle, is when all the moisture has completely evaporated and you're ready to go to the next step. It's time to put together what binds this whole crust. So even if you don't like cauliflower, might like what goes in the cauliflower. I'm using two uh, beat up eggs right here, beaten up real nice, and uh, some Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm using the shredded variety, not the powdered. I like this one better. Ah. You. If you don't, everything's in there. Time to mix it all up. So if you want, of course, like any recipe, you can alter it. You could add whatever seasonings you like. We're just gonna go regs over here because we're putting a lot of stuff on top of this. Grab yourself a circular uh, baking sheet, throw some parchment paper on that, grab your cauliflower ball, and let's start forming our crust. So what I like to do is push down from the center and then form around the edges. And we're going for about uh, three quarters of an inch thick, right Amir? Quarter inch thick. Sorry, a quarter inch thick. All right, you heard it here. From me, your fourth favorite handlet host, it's ready to go in the oven. Bake for about 20 minutes, and then we'll f*** with it some more. So here we go, it's time to make your bacon. Grab your knife, grab your bacon, start making some slits. Slits, 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 slits. Making mad slits. Time to hit the pan. Here we go, throw it on the pan. You know why? You gotta smack the bitch around, give it some life. Why? Because that's what you need sometimes. A little smacking around to understand you're living. It's time to assemble this f***ing... All right, so now that your uh, pizza's assembled, throw it back in the oven until the cheese is melted. Keep an eye on that. You don't wanna let it burn. Keto pizza. We're not saying stop making pizza and only make this. We're saying this is another way to make pizza. Maybe some of you at home are gluten intolerant. Maybe you wanna shed a couple of pounds. You could eat this and it's delicious. So you should make it and you should like it, favorite, share, subscribe, hit them with the hind, baba booey, baba booey, baba booey.